First of all, I just want to welcome Grandma to Ghana. Grandma, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, wow. Grandma, do you know that everyone in Ghana is talking about you? Hmm. E everyone in Ghana is talking about you. Do you know that? Yeah, she knows it. She mm -hmm. sees it. She's been seeing herself on TV. She's been seeing herself all over. So she knows that she's the hit of Ghana right now. Oh, that, that was that the question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I really uh, love being here. I think everything is nice. The people, climate, food, transportation, everything. More than I dreamed that it would be. It's, yes. Is it a dream for you to be in Ghana for the first time or somebody told you to come in here or it has always been a dream to be in Africa? A dream. Yes, it's been a dream for years to come to my mother's homeland was why they want to come. I think everybody, you know, especially in the United States would like to do that. Yes. So, yeah, that's and, right. And um, my, uh, can, can you tell me the experience, I mean, experience in Africa for the first time. Can you tell me, how do you feel? I mean, experience in Africa well, for I the first time. I feel good. I feel like I've been welcomed here. Oh. You know, that everybody's so nice and everything, so you don't have to want for anything, over, I feel, when you're over here. Would, would you yes. love to stay forever? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but her family wants to take her home. We've been yeah. begging them, let us stay, let us stay, let us stay. Uh, mm -hmm. Grandson, sis, uh, cousins, they all said, no, no. we're taking her back tonight yeah, with tonight. us. Yes. But I, I, she's enjoyed herself I, I, tremendously. But I, I'm so glad that I'll be the last person to see yeah, you. Yes. <laughs> Girl, this crown is so beautiful. Can I touch it? No. No. <laughs> Oh, who oh, said no? Grandson said, no. said, no. said no. Yes. But who, I want to know who gave you this? The Nigerian yeah. Ibu King gave oh. her that. One of the things that I really we want to stress, and we wanted not the countries to come to her, and they did. And okay. Nigeria, the Ibu King, he really, it was a wonderful experience. It was. Well. It really was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They had the dancers, and they had the... Everybody, and so they showed her real Nigeria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're very excited about. The, the, the headgears is what I liked. <laughs> 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 oh and she loves her crown. Yeah, but I mean, those people with carrying things on their right. heads, what is that called? The, the, the straw man. The straw man. The straw man. Oh, oh. Yeah, they had a okay. straw man there doing oh. performances and all mm -hmm. of that as uh -huh. well. Mm -hmm. Grandma, what, what food did you eat in Ghana that you will never ever forget? There's one food that definitely you oh, tried. Oh my goodness, I hope I'll never forget all that I've seen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's worth thinking about and something to live for, you know? Like, if I could live in this country and be happy like I see everybody here, well, mm. I would really be happy about that. Which means everybody, yeah. when they yeah. go here, everybody. So you here. see, now I'm over here now, all crippled and can't hardly see and sick, <laughs> and, and everybody's in good health. I don't see the older people like, as old as I am. Uh, I, I explained to Grandmother that a lot of uh, at Queen Mother, I'm going to refer to her as Queen Mother, uh -huh. um, I re told her that a lot of our seniors are in the villages. Yeah. So that's why yes. she didn't see like your mother and your grandmother and oh, all Oh, really? Them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. my, mom, yeah. my mom is old. Yeah. But and I haven't seen the ch little children yet. You oh, know. She didn't see a lot of children either. 
I came with two children, Hold but he left. Yes, he thinks show me some children. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm one of them, you know. I'm, I'm also a child. No. Oh, that's well, um, yeah. I'm the son of uh, no, Dr. Yeah. Erica Bennett. Mm. Yes, the last one of He's them. one of my. I have adopted him as my son. <laughs> oh, yes, that's nice. Yeah. Well, I see lots of teenagers, mm. you know, active young men and ladies. So. But I guess they're all working, is why they're, yeah, they're out working. And about. Oh, they're not doing anything but walking around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but definitely you will have a message for um, our fellow brothers and sisters in the diaspora, roughly African American, Jamaicans. If you have a message, being here on the continent for the first time, if you have a message for them, what would that message be? I mean, the folks here, you know, we thought it would be different. But oh no, everybody seemed to be mm -hmm. the same. So it's wonderful. That is deep. Yeah. Was, yeah, was cool. I love the buildings and everybody seemed wealthy, nice uh, cars no, and lots uh, everything. Uh, Grandma, then I have to ask you this. You're, you're saying nice building, cars. <laughs> before, you're thinking there were no cars in Africa? No, tell them what was your impression Perception. before you came? That, that, that I didn't, wouldn't see all of that, you know. I thought I'd see people were out in the open and in the jungles, and I came over looking for the trees and rivers and <laughs> lakes and, <laughs> and all of that. So, uh, but it don't have to be, you know, for, for people to live happy in, in a country. It's nice. Mm -hmm. yep. No, Do Grandma you know? was pleasantly, Grandma, you got me saying Grandmother. No. I, want say, I want to say Queen <laughs> Mother. Mother. That's what I'm supposed to say. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, um, this is what I have here. I'm so sorry. It's um, Queen Mother Na Lamile. Mm -hmm. Do you know that's your new name? Yes. yes. That's your new name. Remember that's they gave you the new name? Oh, yes, yes. Na, okay. Na Lamile. Name, name. No, that's pr pronounced na. 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 N A. Lamile. Vowel of Ford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. The, the full name is well, it's Vowel nice. of Ford. Well, na I'm glad Lamile. to see that. I hadn't seen this. Really? Okay, well, let's just put this right here <laughs> and show it to all of his one million people. Uh, yeah. Yes. This is her new name. My new name. Yeah. I knew I heard I was going to get a name. <laughs> This is one of her names. I mean, she's gotten about three names since three she's names. been here. Yeah. And this is one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the Ibu mm. um, king gave her another name. Mm. And then the Owusu king, God, the Ga people, they gave her another yeah. name too. Uh -huh. mm. Wow. Grandma, it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, yeah. Queen nice. Mother Nalamile. Yes, Queen yeah. Mother. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Right. What comes yeah. to Ghana? Madasi. Oh. Now, now I'm, let's see, what, what, how should I say that since? Madasi. Madasi. Mm -hmm. but no, she want to know, she want to say, mm -hmm. Aquaba? No, Aquaba is welcome. Um, she knows that. She's been getting a lot of the Aquaba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard for me to think of the words. Mm. It's so now different, you know. Even the spelling don't, Absolutely. don't help me pronounce the word at all. <laughs> well, Queen Mother, do not feel bad. I, Queen Mother has done very well. Yeah. When she was talking to the president, uh, she did say Madasi to him, uh -huh. yeah. and he enjoyed that very much. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Dr. Erica, I, I want you to, um, before we, we go, mm -hmm. I just want you to tell me something. It's been a week for her being here. I just wanted to know who made this possible. Well, Queen Mother has been here for exactly eight days. We, she has attended 16 different events. Yes. She has been more alert in these events than we were. I was getting tired and she was just so alert at every one of these events. Yes. Yes. Um, so the, 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 it all happened because of one lady, Dr. Dr. Doctor, doctor, lawyer, bishop, Tony Luck. And what I'd like her to do, if it's okay with you, is just kind of come over here very Fantastic. quickly. Is she around? Yeah, she's right there. 
Let's give her a big round of applause. Yeah, 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 yeah. You come sit right here. She can sit right here. Yeah. To be on camera today. That's okay. Yes. Oh, yes. She's. Okay, so sit right there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, Dr. Luck, let me just kind of tell you who she is. Mm -hmm. She's a phenomenal, incredible woman who's done incredible things. She's the co-founder of the Diaspora Africa Forum. And you know the Diaspora Africa Forum. You did yeah. a wonderful piece on us yeah. Yeah. that went around the world. Absolutely. And so she is the co-founder. And I have been telling her about you. And oh. she said, I want to meet him. So this is really very, very wonderful. I mean, you know, God has a way of doing everything at the right time. So this is Dr. Tony Luck, and she is really responsible on that end for bringing her here. Mm -hmm. And then she handed it over to us, the Diaspora Africa Forum, to organize the 17 events. Mm -hmm. So just tell them how it happened. Look, my first question will be, what yeah. really inspired you to do something like this? Oh, good. Mother Fletcher inspired us. And on the 19th of May, uh, Mother Fletcher gave an incredible testimony before the United States Congress. And that testimony, it was the first time in her whole life that she had been to Washington, D.C. My name is Viola Ford Fletcher. <clears throat> I'm the daughter of Lucinda Ellis and John Wesley Ford of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm the sister of Hughes Van Ellis, who is also here today. I'm a survivor of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Two weeks ago, I celebrated my 107th birthday. <laughs> today, I'm visiting Washington, D.C. for the first time in my life. I'm here seeking justice and I'm asking my country to acknowledge what happened in Tulsa in 1921. The night of the massacre, I was awakened by my family. My parents and five siblings were there. I was told we had to leave and that was it. I will never forget the violence of the white mob when we left our home. I still see black men seeing being shot, black bodies lying in the street, I still smell smoke and see fire. I still see black businesses being burned. I still hear airplanes flying overhead. I hear the screams. I have lived through the massacre every day. Our country may forget this history, but I cannot. I will not, and other survivors do not, and our descendants do not. When my family was forced to leave Tulsa, I lost my chance of an education. I never finished school past the fourth grade. I have never made much money in my country. State and city took a lot from me. Despite this, I spent time supporting the war effort in the shipyards of California. But most of my life, I was a domestic worker serving white families. I never made much money, but to this day, I can barely afford my everyday needs. All the while, the city of this Tulsa have unjustly used the names and stories of victims like me to enrich myself and its white allies through the 30s million ways by the Tulsa Centennial Commissioner while I was continued to live in poverty. I am 107 year old and have never been seen justice. I pray that one day I will. I have been blessed with a long life and have seen the best and the worst of this country. I think about the terror, horror inflicted upon black people in this country every day. And um, it's interesting, uh, that testimony touched me so deeply. Uh, and the words when she said, I think about that day every day of my life. Well, at 100 years, that's 35,600 days, mm -hmm. over 5 billion seconds. 
several hundred million minutes of thinking about that. So when her grandson, Mr. Ike Howard, who has been you know, with her since he was a baby, called our company, Our Black Truth, and asked, Granny wants to go to Africa. And I happened to be in the room at the time. And of course, I've been in Africa a very long time along with my sister. And um, she asked for pyramids and uh, animals. <laughs> and, uh, but it was no, it didn't take me long to decide that Ghana was the place that we had to come. Yeah. It's wonderful. Because yeah. it was, and she has said, it, and we had lots of ideas in other places, but of course, because my sister was here, the Diaspora and Africa Forum was here, we have an amazing relationship with the president and also the former president. Um, I moved to Ghana in 1997 for five, four or five years, had business. My sister came in 2001 after being around Africa and decided this is where she was going to be. And built that beautiful embassy that you have come to, yeah. called the Diaspora Africa Forum. So I called her. I told her the story, and uh, she she didn't hesitate. She said absolutely. And then she does what she does best. She activated everything. Yeah. Activated <laughs> government. Activated uh, her daughter, who is Dr. Musa uh, Anadia Musa, the Diaspora. Di uh, you know, she, she, even, she even called me. Like, she asked me everybody. Really have to be here. No, no, she <laughs> asked me to everybody. But that's that's how she operates. You know, once she gets it in her mind, mm. she asked me. So we made a small program. We sent it and said, "How is this going to look?" And she took what we wanted to do and crafted the most amazing, amazing. We stayed in the physical land of the Osu Ta uh, Accra, Accra mm -hmm. municipality, but we went everywhere. Um, Tuesday we had a uh, ambassador lunch mm -hmm. and the ambassador had every country come to us. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday we went to Nigeria, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, so it has been amazing. But she was the, the catalyst yeah. and uh, spurred on by uh, Mr. Ike Howard who said Granny wants to come, but her testimony moved us. And um, she said so many things, but mostly about justice and how her country, she was a worker during World War II. Mm. She raised her children as a good American citizen. She's been faithful. She was giving me a list today of all the things she has done in terms of her work life. Uh, but she never passed the fourth grade, but of course you can't tell because the intelligence is amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but that all, her whole life was upended because of this horror. So I just want to leave you with one other important word. Her brother, uh, Uncle Red, who's now Chief mm. Red, they went to the Osu dungeon and we explained to, I was given the privilege to explain to Uncle Red and to her what happened, yeah, yeah. what had happened. And the one word that uh, Uncle Red said was, uh, who would do this? And I said to him, the same people who burnt down Greenwood, Tulsa, Black Wall Street. It's that energy. It's that energy. And we have a privilege now to to move ourselves forward as African, African descended people, African American people, African Caribbean people, to become what Ambassador mentioned, what Mother mentioned, what Un Uncle Red's mantra has been, we are one. And not only that, I just kind of want to land by saying, we're just so delighted and thankful to the president of this country yes. uh, for giving her a citizenship. Now she mm -hmm. has an option. She is a Ghanaian and an American. You know, you can keep both citizenships. So she's an American and a and, Ghanaian. And, yeah. and she was asked, it just came out, she, the president asked her and Uncle Red, mm. would, would they like to be citizens of Ghana? And well, they, sure, sure. And, and sure. she said, sure. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. And, and, she said, <laughs> and, and, uh, um, How did she feel when they handed the passport to her? Well, no, she doesn't have the passport yet, yet. yet. but it's well, coming. Let me tell you how they're going yeah. to do it. Okay. Yes, this is exciting. What, mm -hmm. what they're yes. going to do is, mm -hmm. you know, the president conferred it. You know, the the grandson and the whole family said, absolutely, we yes. want them to have it. Yeah. yeah. And so she is now officially a Ghanaian citizen. Mm -hmm. And what they're going to do during the September UN General Assembly, mm -hmm. uh, the president is sending a team 
down to take her officially her papers. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Ghana has really stepped up. Oh, I want to say that. Yeah. You know, Ghana, yeah. you know, the, the, the mm. office of Diaspora Office of the President, the Ghana Tourist Authority, uh, GIPC, um, all of them really, really supported us, very much so. How do you feel knowing that you made this possible? Mm. One of the other things I'd like to share with your um, viewing audience yeah. is that before she came, she was in the hospital for four days. And she said, she okay, told her grandson and, and, she told, and Uncle Red called her and said, yes. are we still going to Ghana? And yes. she said, yes. the only reason we won't go to Ghana is if I'm in a cask. Yeah, I'm in a coffin. <laughs> coffin. A coffin. Yeah. And here she is sitting up here looking beautiful, beautiful yeah. and all of that with us. Yeah. So that shows you what you have determination yes. and your preservation. There's nothing you cannot achieve. And when you have a, a dream in your heart, you know, mm -hmm. and one mm -hmm. thing we, we asked Mother the other day, how, how has she, you know, not become bitter? And what did you oh, tell me? Oh my goodness. No. Oh, I don't remember so many things now. Just just everything. I was surprised, you know, about the weather, the climate, people, food. That's it seemed like a different world to me. Here. And mother, when you when when you were growing up, how did you not become bitter about your experiences? Well, faith. because we loved everybody and thought that's the way it should have been and all of it. And I, I've lived through it. Yes, and that, great faith. That's, that's, oh, that's right. Faith and prayer is one of the things, too, that helps. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So um, we want to thank you. We want to thank you. You are my son. And we want to thank you for all the good things that you do and telling the other side of Africa. Too often, and this is what Mother was saying, all she thought about was jungles and, you know, we're climbing through trees and all of that. <laughs> oh, no. and, <laughs> <laughs> and so you tell that story. You go from country to country yeah. and you talk about the beauty yeah. and the goodness of each of our 55 African that's countries. Right. I will, and I will. I certainly will. She'll go, back. go home now and say, a good ambassador. I'll go, I can really go home and say I did not see because we haven't had time. These ladies have been kept me fed. Everything <laughs> <and> this, <laughs> all these busy that I didn't, you know, haven't still. It's not too late, but maybe next time I come, oh, and I'm, I'm sure all of that is not true anymore. No, man. No. So, so oh. which means when, when you go back to the state, you definitely have a message when you see people, maybe you can be an ambassador for Africa now. You know, they need to make that official. Absolutely. Uh, as an ambassador yeah. for Africa by telling people that Africa is not what you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for having no, me. Thank no, you. Really, I appreciate no. it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so yes. glad that I came. You know, yeah, I had to you. also fly to get here. Yeah. yeah. Really really yeah. Well, yes. Um, yes. Then I want to mention my grandson now. He, He's he ahead of wanna, this. You know, Come and say hey, grandson, baby. grandson. Hey. <laughs> I'm telling you, she does nothing without this grandson. Oh, I'm no, telling you, no. She yeah. loves this grandson. He's her favorite. I must say that. <laughs> I put grandchild, yeah. but with yeah. He's, and, I, he's, and I'm going to make sure I put my grandchildren's name on. You know, the, to, to get citizenship. <laughs> yeah, whatever it takes. <laughs> So whatever it uh, takes. Is it your first time in Ghana? It's my first time in Ghana as well, yes. First time in Africa. First time in Africa? First time in Africa. Why must it be your first time in Africa? We often want to come to Africa, but we don't know where to start. Uh, some of us have fears about coming to Africa. Why would we uh, have fears of coming I to Africa? I said some of some us. Some of us. I mean, are you I'm, one of I, I'm fearless. That's why I'm oh. here. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm fearless. Please don't start this fight. I, I want, I, don't start this fight. No, no, don't start this fight. You I want to see. Be, I wanted to see it. things for myself. Some mm -hmm. people believe what they what they hear. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that, uh, I, right. I believe what I experience. Uh -huh. uh, so I want to see Africa for myself. You know what I'm saying? And my grandmother and uncle's bucket wish was to come to Africa. And I'm the, just a man to make it happen. So he, I definitely he was the man to make it happen. He facilitated it. You know, all the complications, he, you know, and took care of it. Now, now, now I, 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 I think now you've experienced Africa. 
in eight days? I mean, what are you going to say after your experience in Africa within eight days? I'm going to tell people to, to come here and experience it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You can t My close friends will take my word for it. But many people will want to know for themselves. And only one way to see Africa for yourself is to actually come to Africa. I just want to say thank you so much for making this possible. Yes. And um, it's a pleasure meeting you. Maybe I definitely know you don't know me, but uh, maybe as soon as I upload the video, you find out who you met. Go okay. ahead. Oh, 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 <laughs> That's Mama T's nephew. That's Mama T's nephew and Dr. Erica's son. <laughs> <laughs>